All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to import standard cells into a Cadence library. First, we're going to open up the library manager. And I'm going to create a library. I'm going to give the library the name that will be standard to the particular library that I'm trying to import. In this case, this is an IO library. I'm going to attach that library to the particular technology that I'm working in. All right, so here's my new library. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is import the GDS files associated with the standard cell library. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Stream. I'm going to navigate to the stream file. I'm going to make sure that it's pointing to the import into the library that I just created. And everything else I should be able to leave uh, as default. But if you're working in a technology that uh, doesn't have uh, automation uh, in it, you might need to set a layer map and an object map. Uh, in my case, you can see that those popped up automatically. I hit translate, and it will be bringing in the layout views. This takes just a few moments. Uh, you can see that it's done. I got a couple of warnings, and more importantly, you can also see that it imported a bunch of cells. I don't need to look at the warnings in this particular case. Uh, if I look at any of the given cells that it imported, you'll see that it imported the layout view. Now, the next thing that I need to do is import the schematic views for this particular technology file. To do that, I'm going to go to Import, Spice. Uh, this will be imported via a netlist file that will be in the same general directory uh, of, as uh, the uh, GDS files that I was just looking at. Uh, only these are going to be in a folder most likely called something like CDL. And there will be a .cdl file. Uh, in general, these come in the form of a spice netlist, uh, but you need to check with the specific vendor of the technology that you're looking at. I'm going to add some reference libraries, analog lib, CMOS 14 LPP, and CMOS 14 LPP underscore ESD. And I'm going to use a device mapping file, so I need to have that option clicked. I'm going to have these output into the library that I just created. And I don't think I need to change anything except for the device map. Now this file is a file that tells Cadence how to map uh, different schematic names to other schematic names or different devices that are in the CDL uh, to, to names that might be in the schematic. I have a device map made in my home directory. I'm going to navigate to that. Now, this is a fairly generic text file, so uh, it's not uh, usually technology specific, although some of the names might be uh, specific to the technology that you're working in. I have a file called devmap, and in this file, it just tells you what the, what the device is uh, and, and what to map it to. So for instance, sometimes you have a device that might be called a resistor, and it's going to map it to uh, RES or RES, uh, you know, capacitors might need, need to be mapped to CAP, and so on and so forth. Uh, these are various ones that I found over the course of time uh, that uh, I've, uh, mapped, I've uh, mapped in for uh, other technologies, uh, and so I just keep them, uh, I keep adding them to the uh, list in this dev map file. All right, now with that done, everything should be set and we should be good to run. So here I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And if things go well, it should start the import process. And if there are a lot of cells, this import can take quite a long time. So I'm going to pause the video right here, and we'll come back in just a few moments and check on the status. 
All right, when the spice in uh, succeeds, you'll see a menu uh, like this that will pop up that says, do you want to view the log file? Uh, generally, if it has succeeded, you don't need to view the log file. Uh, it's just going to be a long collection of, uh, of uh, text commands for everything that it did during the uh, input. I'm gonna go ahead and say no uh, to this. I was actually running two of those at the same time. Now I'm going to uh, go to one of the ones that I was just running, you can, you can see uh, ultimately now that for some of these cells uh, in this library, we'll have layout views, schematic views, and symbol views. Uh, some of them will have uh, a collection uh, of others. It just depends upon what was included in the particular standard cell library. You can kind of take a look by uh, paging through uh, each of the cells to see what is and is not included. All right, with that, I will uh, go ahead and stop. Now, the last step here uh, would be uh, if you wanted to install this more permanently uh, for everybody at your site, you would move this to uh, a site-specific uh, path, uh, but that, of course, might need some administrative access. Uh, I'm about to do that right now, uh, but if you just want to use them personally, uh, they should be ready to go, and you can use the standard cells immediately uh, in that particular form. All right, thanks. Talk to you next time.